Now, President Mohamed Buhari has urged candidates of political parties to continue running issue-based campaigns and to treat opponents with dignity. The president maintained that election is not a do-or-die affair. In his 2022 Democracy Day broadcast to the nation earlier, he commended the leaderships of political parties in the country for the smooth conduct of their party's primary elections. Buhari reassured voters that adequate measures have been put in place to safeguard their votes during the forthcoming elections in the country. Hello, Nigerians. Today, June the 12th, marks another Democracy Day anniversary and an occasion to celebrate freedom and unity of our nation. From 1999, we consistently celebrated Democracy Day to mark the end of military rule and the return of power and control into the hands of those freely elected by the people. This is my last Democracy Day speech as your president. By June 12, 2023, exactly one year from today, you will already have a new president. I remain committed and determined to ensure that the new president is elected through a peaceful and transparent process. The signs so far are positive. Recently, all registered political parties conducted primaries to select their candidates for the 2023 general elections. These primaries were peaceful and orderly. Those who won were magnanimous in their victories. Those who lost were gracious in defeat. And those aggrieved opted to seek judicial justice as opposed to jungle justice. I will therefore take this opportunity on this very special day to ask all candidates to continue running issue-focused campaigns and to treat opponents with dignity. As leaders, you must all showcase high character and never forget that the world is watching us and Africa looks up to Nigeria to provide example in governance. The tone you set at the top will surely be replicated in your followers. For the voters, I am pleased to inform you that in the last seven years, our government across all tiers has made significant investments to reform and enhance our electoral laws, systems, and processes to safeguard your votes. The executive, legislature, and judiciary were and still remain united and committed to ensure those reforms are fully implemented in the 2023 general elections. Well, still talking about the Democracy Day, we have joining us a political analyst, Gadwin Itaki Buebu, and uh, he will be analyzing the high points of the president's uh, speech and how far we have come as a country. Uh, good evening to you, Gadwin. Thanks for joining us on the news now on Plus TV Africa. Good evening and thank you very much for having me. It is indeed a pleasure. It has been about um, 23 years of uninterrupted democracy since 1999. Or well, Some people would say that it is no longer a nascent one. So how far would you say we have come vis-a-vis -vis from 1999 to this particular point? Well, thank you very much for your question. I listened to the president's discussion this morning. He spoke well. He spoke well. Uh, he spoke well, actually. More so when he brought the idea that we should respect each other. And uh, when it came that the primaries that had been completed within the most bigger political parties came with losers being magnanimous and the winners being generous. And he spoke well to us. But Analyzing his statement, I would want to take it back a little to 1993. 
and I want to anchor from 1993 to 2023. That will bring it exactly 30 years. Hope, hope, 93. The one that brought Abiola with King Gibbibi, his running mate, to pair against Tofa in the NRC SDP uh, election. The election are judged by the world community are very, very free, very, very fair, and best so far in the running of elections in our countries. I would want to take this link, if you would permit me to do that. Do I have your permission? Uh, go ahead, but rather very quickly. Thank you very much. I appreciate you once again. In 1993, there was hope. The hope came in form of election. The election were freely conducted. The election were fair. The election were very, very free. And a candidate emanated from that election, the person of Moshud Kashima Wu Abiola, with King Gibi running. Therefore, the election was annulled. But before that, let me point a, let me make a point clear. In 1993, that hope that became the identity card of Moshud Kashima Wu Abiola came with Muslim Muslim ticket. Moshud Abiola was a Muslim. King Gibe, as we speak, he was a Muslim that he remains a Muslim today. Then we are now moving to another likely hope, 2023, meaning 30 years of hope. But the first hope came to materialization. But the person representing that hope died after being put in detention by the military junta of different uh, military establishments that cut across Abiola, Bwe, uh, Abasha, up to Abdusalam Abubakar and Kwanku. Now, if we look at 2023, we are seeing another hope. So if between what the president said and what he might not have said, what he didn't say plus what he said, let us decode what could come out of it. Of course, we we'll see the primaries. Primaries are quite different from elections proper. Primaries are personal arrangements of political parties. In bringing out their candidate who wear the flag into the election, elections are deeper. Elections are like an ocean compared to primaries of political party, which is just like the Lagoon in Lagos here, a river. Then, but what we see so far, if we are able to hold it like that, it is most likely that we may meet another hope again. But with that hope of 2023, will it live, will it be key? Many All right. factors, man. All right, Godwin, if I have just if I just may butt in right now, invariably what you are saying is that from the foregoing that uh, from the political uh, parties primaries that we've had in the recent times that there is like um, a glimmer of hope for uh, for the dispensation in 2023. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, there is there is there is a glimmer. Let me use your language. Let me borrow your language. There is a glimmer of hope. But this can be tampered with. The personal dramatists and some other elements could play down that hope that the hope itself may not materialize. In 1993, the hope was established. A hope was born and the hope was nourished. But the man bearing the hope died. The Nigeria system killed the man. Now we are having quite radiating and good primaries which is pointing to a hope in 2023. But with this hope materialized in 2023, a better side, a free and fair, that's a, a, a different ball game entirely. But given what is taking place right now, speaking of the three major political parties, two major political parties, plus appendices of political parties here and there. For example, the labor is coming in, bearing the person of Peter Obi, Atikwa Baka has picked the uh, flag of uh, uh, PDP and Bola Chinumbu had picked the flag of uh, how would they materialize it to that place? Unless 2023 is properly achieved, the hope 
that lies between these past 30 years might be lost. All right, thank you, Godwin. Uh, so the president in his um, speech to date um, emphasized on the need for uh, election and campaign to be issue based. You have mentioned the uh, three frontliners uh, who uh, are representing their parties come next year. You talked about Atiku, Peter B, and of course Ashwa Jubal, Ahmed Tinubu. But over time, if you were to analyze uh, our political dispensations and election and campaigns, uh, would you really say that uh, we have um, t uh, towards the path of um, issue based uh, politics? Hmm. Okay, uh, we are still at the learning points of this present dispensation, this republic. We can all look at it and ask ourselves, are these campaigns uh, issue-based or merely assassination of personal character or what are the main factors that on ground? I am yet to see even we are talking of the primaries of the political party. Like as I told you, the primaries of the political party is like a river. This general election is an ocean itself. In the issue of the river, the political party's primaries, there were not too much of issue based. The, the matter was between either I am qualified, it is my turn or not my turn, the person must come from northwest or northeast. Nobody had really spoken to us that this is the agenda I have for bringing, for example, a suggestion, and a suggestion to an end in Nigeria, terror, terrorism to an end in Nigeria, kidnapping to an end in Nigeria. Nobody is telling me that right. in a tacky way, you will have food on your table. We need to hear those ones. All right, thank you so much. Um, indeed, uh, we need to start uh, watching out for uh, issues as uh, we go to the polls next year because that's what um, the electorate want to see and not just... Um, people who feel maybe they are entitled to it. We have been joined by a political analyst, Godwin Itaki Buebu. Thanks for your input on the news tonight. We do appreciate them. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.